Good morning everybody, this is Ben back again and now it's time for another collection video in which this time I'm going to now show you guys my Lucasfilm collection which which as you know they are which as you know many Star Wars and Indiana Jones fans will definitely be um be pleased with this one so you're in for a treat since obviously Lucasfilm made those franchises so so anyways let's go ahead and get started. First up, we have American Graffiti. This is the only um, non-Star Wars and Indiana Jones film I I have from them. This is actually the this this came before Star Wars and Indiana Jones. So so yep, the film is from 1973. We got the label and no print date. Is there a credit refute? No, there's not. All right. Now I'm going to show you guys the Star Wars stuff. First up we have the original trilogy, which is all in this box set here, containing all three of the original films. So we got this side and the back side. And I'm going to take this out of the thing. So here's uh, another side of it, and then the actual packaging. And then the tapes, which I'm going to show you right now. Here's the original Star Wars film, which is also known as Star Wars A New Hope. So we got the vertical label there. And then here is The Empire Strikes Back. The original Star Wars film, or A New Hope, is 1977. This one's from 1980. Of course, these are all re-releases from 1977. No, 1997. Sorry about that. Don't know what I was thinking there, but that's okay. Not a big deal. And finally of these, we have Return of the Jedi from 1983. Or Episode 6. Because Empire Strikes Back is Episode 5. And then New Hope, which is the original. The first one is Episode 4. And... Okay, okay. Hold on a moment while I put this back in the thing. Here, okay, there we go. Next up, we have Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace from 1999. This is the first film in the prequel trilogy. I have this on DVD as well, but I'm just only showing the videotape. And the print date is December 30th, 1999, printed a day before New Year's Eve of that year. Of course, I do have Attack of the Clones, which is on DVD, but I don't know where that is. So, we're gonna move forward to Revenge of the Sith. Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, Sith from 2005. This has a lot of features, but I'm not gonna read them, just because there's way too many to name. So, got this one, and this two. Okay, so that's it for my Star Wars stuff. Now we're gonna go on to the Indiana Jones stuff. First up, we have Raiders of the Lost Ark, which is from 1981, the first film in the Indiana Jones series. The most incredible series of action and stunt set pieces I've ever seen in a movie by Roger Ebert's home movie Home Companion. This does not have a sticker label, but this, this does have the end label on there, so the, the sticker label must have fell off years ago or whoever by whoever else who owned it previously anyways moving on we have indiana jones and the temple of doom 1984 film and the prequel to the raiders of the lost ark yep there's no critic review on this one but it does say it here at the bottom this may be too intense for younger children since this film along with the movie gremlins were both controversial for its violence so Spielberg insisted the MPA, MPAA, which is now known as the Motion Picture Association, or MPA for short, to create a new rating that would be a mix between PG and R, and that's how PG-13 came about. So, anyways, moving on, we have Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade from 1989. And Jack Garner of Gannon News Service calls it the greatest adventure in film history. 
So yep, got the label here and then the end label. And finally, we have Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, which is from 2008. There is a review there, but the, due to the Blockbuster stickers, I can't read it. But Richard Corliss of Time says this film is a nonstop thrill ride and it's packed with sensational, awe inspiring spectacles. It features, it just has Return of the Legend featurette and pre production featurettes. Okay, so there is the disc right here, and this is a, like I said, it's a former Blockbuster rental, as I'm sure you all know, but. Anyways, that is if my Lucasfilm movie, my Lucasfilm collection, and I'll see you again soon. I do hope to find maybe more stuff like Willow, the film, uh, the movie Willow, and then um, maybe some more Star Wars stuff. Not sure at the moment, but who knows. And I do plan on finding Indiana Jones and the Dial of the Destiny, which is the new one that just came out uh, this past summer. I do hope to find that so I can have all the Indiana Jones movies. Um... Well, on different formats, though, but still, so, um, so yeah, but anyways, there you have it for this video, and I'll see you again soon.